Good evening and welcome back once again. Today we're away to Real Sociedad. Let's have a look at the team lineup. So we're playing Schubert and goal. Omarajic, Kosanu in centre defence. Their first choice partnership there. Backer at left back. Dow's coming in for Emerson because he's had a run of quite a few matches and he's looking pretty tired. Herrera and Fabio Vieira are in midfield alongside Harrington today because he's on an upward condition. Got Xerxes up top, Carlos Perez on the right and Martinelli starting on the left. Looking at that, Mudrick is on an upward condition. I thought about playing him in place of Martinelli but I really want Martinelli to play. Mudrick will be a really good player to bring off the bench with a tired defence hopefully by that stage. He could potentially come in for Martinelli later on. I know I said it a lot, but I really do love the look of these stadiums in this game. There are some real stadiums and some fake stadiums as well. And some of the fake stadiums, I believe, are, are, are based on you know very specific real stadiums, but not all of them. Um, yeah, I had some really entertaining matches the past few games, especially the one against Real Madrid. But our squad's looking really healthy now in terms of the type of players we've got. People that we can bring in when we've got tired legs. It's it's quite scary compared to where we were not that long ago, really. It's massive. Um, you know, the likes of Mudrik not being first choice is quite frankly ridiculous. Here's Houghton. Now Perez. Not much room to work with there. So he plays it out to McDowell. Sexy in. Oh, should have scored. Don't score many headers with this team. And that was a really good chance. If you actually manage to make good contact and get in the end of it. Yeah, decent save by the keeper, but got to be doing better than that. Maybe from the corner, though. Herrera of a chance. Oh. <laughs> Always gets blocked from that sort of place. Pretty much anyway. Martinelli now. And Harrington. Martinelli again. Martinelli. Oh, what a strike. He has got some shot on him, this lad. He's an exciting player to play with. Obviously, I've only played him with in a few matches so far. Because of rotation, try to keep that in, but couldn't. But he's had a massive positive impact on every game he's uh, started. Good clearance there. Oh, what a save, though. Try to close the the angle. I'm not going to watch it again, but absolutely love Schubert. I'll keep it. That's for a counter, maybe. Although it's not really anyone with Xerxes at the moment. Here's Hampton. And now Martinelli. What can he do? Again, need support. Back and out. Hampton. Xerxes. Now Martinelli. Just about keeps it. Couldn't find a way through. It was just there. Uh, I think we had advantage played a couple of times there, but it came to nothing. Nice play there. Oh, I didn't mean to chip that there. It was a bit of a cheeky attempt at a finish. Struggling to break them down. Well, we've got some, had some good attacks, but it's just that final, final pass, final sort of killer blow. Oh, Martinelli, Nelly in there. Six. He just couldn't find a pass through properly, and neither could Martinelli there. They seem to be all over it in defence in terms of closing down. Um, this could be a difficult game. Really nicely played through there to Martinelli. Oh, and he was stretching. 
was trying to play the pass through to Xerxes, but maybe I should have just taken a touch. But again, slowing it down, that's when we're, we're not getting anywhere. Kind of need to, to be one-touch football. Good tackle. Really nicely played by Mortinelli. And Xerxes through here. Xerxes. Oh, he hits the post. Oh, and that's offside. I, I wasn't actually trying to pass to Xerxes. I was just... I don't know what I did there. So close from Xerxes. I did try and blast it. Maybe a little bit too much. Well, clearly a little bit too much. Um... Nice pass through to Martinelli. What footwork that is. Oof, nearly finds its way through to the bottom corner. Decent save in the end. Here's Martinelli again. He's been all over this game. Ah, back. I was just trying to thread the pass through there and got caught. tackle at the minute they kind of uh, get clear of it Xerxes nice pass Mottinelli oh just didn't quite make it actually the pass was a little bit short it's kind of fractions fractions away from getting a goal here's Mottinelli to Xerxes 1-0 Really pleased for Xerxes and Martinelli getting an assist. But Xerxes is under pressure. He's not the only one. But um got to remember he's still an absolute star of a player. Nicely played through. Actually a beautiful ball from Harriton. And a nice little way to pass from Martinelli. He could have went for goal. But I think that was the right option. And not long before half time, I was starting to get a little bit worried. You know, things were just were just on the edge of, of getting there. It just wasn't quite clicking. You know, whether, whether it was the final pass or the decision when we're in on goal. And that'll be half time very tough first half again the majority of the possession and a lot of that was in the attacking third very stubborn defence Real Sociedad yeah I'd say they were very Real Sociedad but very quick, quick at closing down um, especially in the final third but made that breakthrough but we need to keep going that one goal is not safe enough Martinelli showing his strength there as well now back at Xerxes. Oh, just that can't be offside, surely. Oh, he's just in front of Backer. Because if you level or behind the passer, um, he can't be offside. He was just in front, arguably, not kind of level to me, but he missed it anyway. It would have been a goal kick. No match if I had gone in, I would have been good. No, that pass is just. Bit too strong there. Martinelli's quick, but he's never going to get to that. Ah. I don't need to see a replay. Really nice header there. That's not a good pass for Martinelli for once. Not really. I mean, I know who I was trying to aim for, but... Um, again, I have to be careful when it's just 1-0. Oh, it's 
Now Vieira. Maybe he hasn't been as involved as much today as uh, normal. Oh, nice pass to it to Perez. Oh, poor touch. Yeah, maybe Perez hasn't been involved much either. Um, I really don't know how they got that ball there. What? Not, that is not a free kick. Absolute joke. Right, we're going to have a look at some substitutions now. Okay, so we're going to make two substitutions. Carlos Perez coming off for Arcas and Mudrik coming on for Xerxes. Martinelli's going to switch to play centre forward role. And when we bought Martinelli, we knew he could play up top as well. He could potentially even play on the right, but I would prefer really never to play him there. But he's an accomplished centre forward as well. Oh, what is going on here? Well, Akers a space for Arcas. Oh, what a terrible ball that was. All he had to do was... Oh, Cass, what are you doing? What a terrible pass. Had all the time. Plenty of space. I definitely chose the wrong option by trying to chip it over. Well, I think I did. I, I don't know. It seemed like the right thing to do. Anyway, here's Martinelli again. Arcas. Martinelli. Through to Mudrik. Oh, just couldn't get there. Can't uh, keep the ball yet. Come on. Just calm it down. Yeah, keep the ball. Again, I'll cast. Not the best ball. It was the right option. Just poorly executed. What is the defender doing there? Why has he just walked past the ball? What an idiot. Oh, cast. Now that is a good ball through to Mudrik. What a finish. Top right corner. And Arcas making amends. A couple of poor passes earlier. And this was the more difficult one of the lot. I mean, he's, he's just past the halfway line, but look at that ball. Absolutely inch perfect. Perfect weight for Muda just to run onto it. But he still had it all to do, and what a finish that is. This is a great angle. Look at that. Top left. The keeper nearly got to it still. And that's exactly what I said, didn't I? In the team lineups at the start, we could bring Mudrik on with 20, 30 minutes left, gain some tired legs. And that's exactly what he's done. His pace was key there. A beautiful finish, though. But it was the pace that got him into that position. Monelli just on side. Oh, a lovely finish with the outside of his foot. <laughs> Clearly didn't want to use his left. And again, Arcas will probably get the assist here. Yeah, nice finish. I know Arcas was the last passer, but it doesn't necessarily mean he'll get an assist. It depends how long it takes for the, uh, the shot to go in. Lovely to see Martinelli get that goal. Wouldn't be surprised if he gets man of the match. He's obviously got a goal and assist. Martinelli again. On a lovely ball through to Mudrik. That's a terrible challenge. 
Yeah, we know it's a foul, but um, no, we're not gonna have a shot. Fountain, no, that's not who I was trying to pass it to. I was actually trying to pass it to Baka, but. Fabio Vieira yeah, is absolutely shattered. I'm trying to run there and it's like running through Treacle. That was definitely a foul by me. Referee rightly plays on. Nice ball out wide to Argas. What a little take that was as well. And how was that not a foul? Great save from Schubert. Seriously, think there was a foul in the build-up earlier, so I'd have been disappointed to let that call in. Still got to defend it though. Play at the whistle. Oh, just wide. Schubert flung himself to it. Whether he would have got there if it was on target, I'm not sure, but. Here's Madrid. Oh, just trying to fire it in because it's going to be full time. Or is it? Maybe one last chance here. Oh! What a cheeky goal that would have been. And there it is. Full time. 3 0. Surely Martinelli, man of the match. Looks like he is. Again, I don't want to go too much into possession, but shots and shots on target. Really good strike rate in terms of getting them on target there. 9 out of 11 is pretty good going. And yeah, absolutely no surprise that Martinelli got man of the match. Great ratings across the board. Sixes pretty much all around is, is a very good match. Martinelli with a 7.5. Xerxes with a 7.5. Really good to see that. Arkas and Mudrik getting sevens when they come on. So they did a fantastic job coming off the bench. Arkas, I was getting a bit frustrated with after he put a couple of passes astray. But that assist for the Mudrik goal. Unbelievable pass. Absolutely brilliant. And although there's a week to go for January, there's no more matches until the 1st of February. So we can now look at the stats. And if you have a look near the bottom there, you've got Martinelli on the assist ranking leaderboard and also top of the average rating. What an impact he's had. Really good to see that Xerxes, he's in the top three for goals as well. And he's also top three for average rating. So good to see that he's sticking in there when really Martinelli isn't his out and out placement. But having Martinelli come through and the likes of Castro probably being our favourite number nine, it puts his uh, place very much under threat. Carlos Perez again, very consistently good. Back again, two assists. He's been having some really good um, play down that left-hand side. Strangely coinciding with the Martinelli signing as well. Although he was putting in good performances earlier on in the month when um, Martinelli hadn't even been signed yet. But that's it for today, guys. Obviously, the transfer window will be coming to a close before the next match. So the next video, I will let you know of any incomings or outgoings, any sort of news. Then we'll just jump straight into the match. Thank you very much for joining once again. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you can. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.